In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the secondary abilities that you want easier. Now, if you didn't know or already know that in Splatoon 2, you can actually have a better chance of getting the secondary abilities that you want on your gear. First of all, if you didn't know, I think the guy Merch, uh, you can actually go ahead and get bits from all your uh, gear. So secondary abilities that you don't want in Splatoon 2, you can actually return them back into uh, bits or chunks in uh, Splatoon 2. And then you can put those chunks into other uh, gear that you have and make your perfect secondary abilities besides uh, scrubbing your uh, your uh, gear in Splatoon 2 you can actually also go to the food truck in Splatoon 2 and the food truck will actually allow you to buy drinks and these drinks give you a higher uh, rate chance of actually getting the abilities that you want on your gear once you level up the gear you have a higher chance of getting the ability that you bought from the drinks well I'm gonna show you an easier way to actually get the abilities that you want in Splatoon 2. I did say you can scrub your uh, gear and you can also buy drinks from the food truck. That is true, but I'm going to show you the easiest way to uh, get these uh, secondary abilities that you really want on all your gear. Now what you're going to want to do is, disclaimer, you're going to have to do this when Splatfest is actually going on. So you're going to have to make sure that you have your Splatfest tee on. So make sure you pop on your Splatfest tee. As you can see, I do have my Splatfest tee on. And of course, go. I'm going for ketchup. You should all be going for ketchup, but uh, in, no. But in, uh, re in real seriousness, you got to have your uh, Splat, uh, Splat tee on. So make sure your Splat tee's on. Now, this method will primarily only work when a splat fest is going on. You can do this any other time, but this is going to be the easiest way, and I'm going to explain why this is the easiest way. Now, go ahead and put your splat fest uh, shirt on, and what you're going to want to do is go to the guy merch uh, who actually scrubs your uh, gear, and you're going to want to scrub your gear. And why you may ask, why do you want your uh, splat fest tee on when you're going to go to scrub? Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. So you go to uh, scrub slots. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scrub a normal piece of clothing. I'm going to show you, for example, uh, this one. I'm going to go ahead. You can see it's 20,000 uh, coins to scrub this thing. So that's very, very expensive. It's going to take you a long time to scrub your item or scrub your gear if you want to take it off and reuse it for something else and make it into some chunks. So that's very expensive. But here's the trick. If you actually go ahead and uh, click never mind go back down you go to uh, your uh, spot fest tee and then once you try to use your spot fest feet tee you can see that it's only 20,000 coins so it's actually going to be really really cheap to scrub your spot fest tee now what you can do is of course you can go ahead and level up your spot fest tee with all three uh, sub abilities so you can level it up until you have all three sub abilities so technically it will be cheaper but it will take you longer what I personally like doing instead of waiting until all my abilities are filled up on my splat fest tee what I usually like doing I usually like making sure I only have one uh, sub ability on my splat fest tee and then I like scrubbing it and I keep uh, repeating this over and over and over now of course you'll only get the splat fest tee once you actually uh, once a splat fest is going on this is the only downside to this so make sure when a splat fest is going on if you want to make your perfect combo Go ahead and put on your Splatfest tee and keep on scrubbing it. Of course, you won't have any abilities. This is like a wasted, uh, like a wasted piece of gear when you're playing Splatfest or when you're playing the any type of game, whether that be Turf War or the objective game modes or ranked game modes. You won't have any abilities to use, but who really cares? This is really awesome that you can actually do this, and it's a whole lot cheaper. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it clean, and then there you go, scrub a dub dub, and that's pretty much it. The only thing is, remember when you go ahead and try to level up a piece of gear you do have to be winning games so what I normally like to do to try to win as many games as possible I like trying to just play turf war I feel like in turf war I have a better chance of winning my games than in ranked that's just me it really doesn't matter if you play ranked or if you play a uh, Turf War, it does not matter, but for me, I like playing Turf War, and it will take you about three to four games before you actually get a sub ability on the Splat Fest tee, and then, it'll, of course, it'll even take you longer if you want to try to max it out and get all three sub abilities on your Splat Fest tee, but I just wanted to show you this little way to farm for the uh, 
the chunks are the yeah I think the yeah the chunks in uh, Splatoon 2 that's an easier way so as you can see go ahead and put your Splatfest tee on play a couple of games three to four games win them and then come back here and then scrub it off and you'll get a really big discount and that discount is huge compared to the 20,000 that you're normally going to pay for actually uh, scrubbing the uh, gear in Splatoon 2 anyway guys Peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out, guys.